10 Dog Breeds Perfect for Lazy People Some people just don't want to get up at the crack of dawn every day and go running. You know what's great? Some dogs really don't enjoy that either. The widely accepted belief that dog owners are all physically fit and active is just plain false. While not everyone is cut out to own a highly active border collie or boxer, there are dogs out there that are perfectly fine with a sedentary lifestyle. All dogs require some sort of effort, but a quick grooming session once a week is more realistic than a 12-mile hike every day. So if you're a chill person who just wants to kick back with your favorite mutt, here are some options for dogs that might become your next best friend. As always, try to adopt from a shelter. If you trace back the selective breeding that lead to the modern little lion, you would notice that they're bred for one thing, friendship. The Shih Tzu was bred solely for companionship, and while the origins have been murky, the breed has most of its roots in China. Their loyalty is one of their most beloved traits. This dog is content to follow its owner around all day or just be lap dogs. This breed is required to have proper training. While it's practical to train every dog from a young age, the Shih Tzu demands it. If obedience isn't taught from the early years as a puppy, then people can find this dog to be horribly stubborn. Pekinjas Another Chinese companion dog, the Pekinjas has a striking resemblance to guardian lion statues. Royal and powerful families of China own these lap dogs and at one point they were a symbol of Chinese wealth. They were originally named after Peking, now Beijing, and also accompanied the Buddhist monks. Unfortunately, their unique and loved appearance can be a source for serious health issues. Having a small skull and squished face dooms them to a life of eye and breathing problems. The book inches struggles with hot weather, so it is imperative to keep them cool and groomed. The Neapolitan Mastiff is a massive breed of dog that can reach up to 155 pounds. Most Mastiffs have their roots as an ancient breed, and this particular one was developed in Italy. They are meant to be protectors of both people and buildings, so their large size serves a purpose. Due to this history, the Neapolitan Mastiff is extremely loyal and protective even though they are notorious couch potatoes. Your Mastiff will be content to just hang out at home with you and watch Netflix all day. Who doesn't want to watch a new exclusive series with a 150-pound, lazy lap dog? Here's the downside, though. If you don't train them well as a puppy they can be aggressive towards others. A part of their history is to take their jobs as protectors seriously. This dog is not meant for novice dog owners. Also, a characteristic of any Mastiff dog is drooling. If you're a neat freak then he may not be the dog for you. The name Lhasa Apso means long-haired Lhasa dog. These dogs are native to Tibet, where they worked as sentinels for Tibetan Buddhist monks. The inner chambers were safe as long as the monastery's best alarm was wandering the halls. Lasses were bred to keep their space free of intruders. While the bigger dogs guarded the entrance, this smaller dog was the one to alert to everyone when the stranger got in. Due to these origins, these dogs tend to be very wary of strangers, that love and adore their family. Lhasa Epsos will be as active as their owners are, which can make them running buddies or have an all-day nappers. Keeping in mind what they were bred to do, there can be problems with strangers. 
This includes aggression, an overwhelming bark, and even nipping. All of this can be solved if the Lhasa is taught obedience from a young age. The French Bulldog is the long-time result of breeding English Bulldogs and Paris Ratters. This Bulldog has very little exercise needs, preferring to chew on a toy in front of the TV to running across an open field. A bonus to this breed is their craving for human attention. A French Bulldog needs stimulation and love from his master to remain happy and healthy, so if you're looking for a dog to cuddle and form a close bond with, the French Bulldog might be the one. He's great in apartments due to both his size and his sensible barking. A lot of apartment dwellers don't realize their neighbor even has a dog when they own a Frenchie. Here's the tricky part to these dogs, though. Their faces have compromised breathing systems. This is a result of their breeding, and you will find that they have similar problems that a pug has. The biggest issue with this is the inability to effectively regulate their temperature. The French Bulldog gets cold and warm easily. One look at this dog and you might be reminded of Sam from the world's ugliest dog contest. While Sam is notorious for his appearance, it's worth mentioning that these dogs are actually very beautiful, and most look nothing like infamous Sam. They come in two forms, hairless and powder puff. A powder puff Chinese crested has long and luxurious fur. On the opposite spectrum, you have the hairless, who only have fur around the ears, tip of the tail, and bottoms of their feet giving them a distinct Teddy's glam rock look. These little dogs are very versatile and will adapt to both farm and apartment living. A Chinese crested does enjoy time outside, but while he's out you can sit on the porch and drink a beer while he plays. As expected, with a hairless Chinese crested you're dealing with skin maintenance, which means he can easily get sunburned. You can take steps to prevent this, but it is extra work. English Bulldog The French Bulldog credits its origins to the ever-popular and lazy English Bulldog. The AKC lists the Bulldog as the fourth most popular dog breed in the United States. Despite their grumpy appearance, Bulldogs have sweet dispositions. They're an ideal family pet and tolerant of children. The Bulldog's origins weren't too friendly, but it's obvious this breed has come a long way from being bull baiters. In fact, your English Bulldog will enjoy cuddling with you. With a loyal and devoted personality, most Bulldogs refuse to leave their homes without their masters making this one dog that will never run away. They fit in well to a low energy lifestyle, but there is one pressing concern for the breed. Bulldogs gain weight incredibly easily, and many of today's Bulldogs struggle with obesity. This comes hand in hand with health issues, so if you're not a fan of a short walk a few times a week then it might be best to skip this one. Greyhound This might come as a shock to you, but greyhounds are lovingly referred to as 30 mile per hour couch potatoes. The general public associates greyhounds with speed, due primarily to the industry of dog racing and aerodynamic physique. But this dog was bred for sprinting, not endurance. In fact, most greyhounds sleep for most of the day, and a greyhound does better in an apartment than some dogs half their size. For exercise, just taking your greyhound to the dog park so he can run freely will keep him satisfied. Retired race dogs, unfortunately, struggle. Once they're done racing, many get tossed aside by their race masters. 
Luckily, anyone who is interested in adopting one can support a Greyhound rescue. When a Greyhound does get the urge to run, everyone needs to look out. They're pretty predatory, so if your Greyhound catches the sight of a critter he will mindlessly chase it. Any fence to contain one of these dogs must have an adequate height to avoid jumping. The running issue is such a big problem for the breed that some places require a leash at all times, so this dog certainly isn't for everyone. Newfoundland Newfoundlands are the gentle giants from you'll never believe this Newfoundland. These big, hairy wonder dogs are patient and beloved family pets. They can be used as therapy or nanny dogs due to their devotion to their families, and if you start them young they're easy to train. Most new fies don't have a mean bone in their body, and they really do live up their nicknames as gentle giants. These placid dogs require encouragement to move and they only do well if they have a big yard. He's not an apartment dog. Given their low energy levels and size, it's still important to make him exercise so he doesn't gain weight. It doesn't take too much to get him moving, and a quick romp outside will work for him. Despite the fact that new fies are great with children, their size can prove to be a challenge. This loving dog might lean on small children and knock them over, which is pretty hilarious until someone gets hurt. Who doesn't want their own hush puppy mascot? With a short, easily maintained coat and laid-back attitude, this dog might be the golden child for lazy people. The Basset Hound comes from France and began his legacy as a hunting dog. This companion has one of the best noses in the world, and his sense of smell is only bested by the Bloodhound. Basset Hounds can be slothful, and the only thing that really gets him going is catching an interesting scent. This hound is patient with young children and other animals. To this day, some areas in France will still hunt with their Bassets. The Basset Hound's adorable droopy eyes also proved to be one of his biggest downfalls. Many Basset Hounds suffer with eye issues due to dirt and mucus. Those long, beautiful ears can also be a source for infections and ear mites but regular cleaning can keep your Basset healthy.